Hi, everybody. I want to talk to you. It's New Year's Eve day. It's the last day to register for the Harbor or for our packing presents promotion. But mostly what I want to talk to you about today is the idea of a word for a year. It's a common idea. I think I started it when Megan, uh, Megan Ingman from Lichen and Lace worked with me. And she said, I'm picking a word for the year. What about you? And that was maybe four or five years ago. And over those years, I picked Saver in 2018 and in 2019 I had strengthened and I did pretty good with both words still eating too fast sometimes but I do try to savor the moment and I try to savor life and I feel I do focus on strengthening my art my life my work so and myself so this year I've been thinking a lot of course about the harbor we've had many people register for it and I it's really an honor that somebody wants to learn from you and it's it's uh, something that I take very seriously and I really want to put um, a good deal of myself and into it. And I want to learn from it because that's the idea as we're doing it together. So I have chosen many words over the last few months. Yesterday on the way home from the drugstore, I was picking up, you know, Epsom salts and all the things that you need for the winter. And I was sure that the word was spirit and I had almost decided and um, at one time I thought it was imagination and there's all kinds of words uh, that have come to me focus was one I think they're all good words but what I have really come down to is that what I need this year what I need to receive and what I need to give myself and what I need to give you is inspiration and the year uh, this year that will be my word it will be inspiration. I'll still hang on to savor. I'll still hang on to strengthen. They're not over. They just get carried with me into my life. So when I say when I, why I've chosen the word inspiration, because it's the idea of being in spirit and spirit and spirituality are a very important part of my life. It's also, I feel like um, that art comes from the spirit and I want I also like the idea of inspiration in that you act quickly on something uh, that excites you. And so I want to do more of that. I want to, I want to, I want to take part more. You know, even today I've been thinking about, oh, tonight I could just stay home. It's New Year's Eve or, or I could go out and take part. And I thought to myself, well, you'll be old later and you won't be, maybe won't be able to take part or there'll be things happening and you won't be able to take part. So I think it's important uh, to take part. I might still stay home, you know, <laughs> but I'm going to use this year. <laughs> I think I'll go out after that. I have to now, don't I? <laughs> because I need to be in spirit with other people. I need to be inspired by their lives and their commitment uh, to their art, their commitment to their communities and their commitment to their lives. And I need to be inspired to, to make those kinds of commitments to um, the folks who've joined the harbor and also to myself uh, because um, inspiration if we seek it, is everywhere. But we have to work at seeking it, you know? It's e really easy to fall into reading the same kinds of books, to watching the same kinds of shows, to being with the same kinds of people. And I think I need to widen. And that's what I want to do this year. And that's my... Word for the year is inspiration. I'm really excited to hear yours. You can put it in the comments. You can email me, tell me. I'm interested. I truly, truly am. So word for the year, inspiration for Deanne. Inspiration, inspire, in spirit, inspiration for others, for myself, for you. Bye-bye.